play, play, play station news review. This power. I couldn't have accomplished this without everyone's help. I feel like I will fight someone interesting. Now, time for destruction. Ever since the PlayStation 2 days, I always loved Dragon Ball Z games. I remember staying up late nights playing against my friends, playing over and over and over again to see who will be the ultimate Super Saiyan. So you can imagine my face when I realized that Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z will have more than two people playing at the same exact time. That's four versus four. Sign me up. Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z takes you on the original Dragon Ball Z story adventure. But this time, there's a twist. Instead of the traditional two-person system, it can now go up to eight people, which of course never happened in the original story. There's also roughly 12 hours worth of offline single-player missions and a ton of mini cutscenes based on the Dragon Ball Z TV show. Hmm, it feels like it's coming from around here. It's faint, but it still doesn't feel very good. Well, I might as well get some training in while I search the area. Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z is completely different from both the original Dragon Ball Z storyline and its predecessors. You see, in previous titles, the Z Warriors, Goku, Gohan, Vegeta, Krillin, and everybody else only had to focus on one or two fighters at a time. This game allows you to go against one to eight fighters at a time. Now, this route actually presents two difficult choices upon the game's creator, Namako Bankai. Number one, you lose true Dragon Ball Z fans, or number two, you present a new and innovative twist to a Dragon Ball Z gaming franchise. The 1 to 8 player mechanic takes away from other things too, like traditional combat systems, or even the way we use a special. Because there's more than two characters on the screen, it's more than likely that there will be more than one battle going on. So Gone Away is the mini cutscene for specials, and Gone Away is the advanced button combinations that you would find in any traditional fighting game. Doing moves and specials in this game is extremely easy, which means you don't really have to do that much to become an experienced pro. And with so much happening on the screen, so many characters attacking you at once, it can be really hard to enjoy a match. And I'm not saying that the AI is tough or even a human player is tough, because it's really not. This game is extremely easy to master. It's just that there's so much stuff happening at the same time that it really, really hurts to multitask. Now, when there's not multiple characters in the fight, it actually is pretty goddamn fun, especially when you fight the mighty Yuzuru. Those beasts are much more interesting to fight because of their big boss fight feel. You have to try to take each body part out, and sometimes it could be tricky until you figure them out. Now, characters can be customized between missions by assigning cards to each character. They're pretty simple, you know, upgrading speed, defense, and the rest of the basics. Now, this upgrading system is a good and bad thing. Good because it's great to customize characters, and bad because the game was already pretty damn easy, and you're just making your person even more powerful to make it even easier. Now, personally, I prefer the local multiplayer for my fighter games, and this game completely threw it out the water, which is very, very disappointing. Honestly, I never remembered playing a Dragon Ball Z game online until now. But with all that said, you will like to know that the multiplayer is intense and engaging, even though they don't have any local multiplayer and you have to play online. Having more than one friend at a match at a time is pretty satisfying, which is a good point. You'll also be pretty glad to know that there's a lot of settings to tinkle with to enhance your online or even single player experience. For some odd reason, every Dragon Ball Z game until now looked exactly the same. You knew exactly how the game was going to look, you knew exactly what you were going for, it just never changed. Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z features gorgeous environments and beautiful cell shaded characters, which is a nice touch. If you're a PlayStation Vita owner, you'll be glad to know that Dragon Ball Z Battle Z is very similar to PlayStation 3's version. In fact, you can play against PlayStation 3 owners online on PSN. As you can see here, there's just a bit of difference in contrast, but that'll be all fixed when you're actually playing the game on the PS Vita because of the OLED screen. In conclusion, the whole experience isn't actually that bad. Although the gameplay is not reminiscent to any other Dragon Ball Z game, it is actually a very new touch and is very refreshing. Also, Battle of Z is a very good game to look at. It features tons of settings to tinker with and the multiplayer is chaotic and fun, but it does have some flaws that hurt it big time in the long run. My name is Nicholas Marsink here and thanks for watching my review.